for It's Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we're going to learn how to crochet the Brighton Beanie. This is the third beanie in the Wonderful Hats Crochet Along 2022 and I'm so happy that you're here. If this is your first time hearing about the Crochet Along, check out the links in the description of this video and you'll find the direct link to this pattern which will give you all the information about this Crochet Along. Each of the beanies in the crochet along has a matching scarf, so be sure to watch out for the matching scarf pattern later on this week. And this is the Brighton Beanie. It is an intermediate uh, crochet pattern simply because of the variety of crochet stitches that are found in it. Hopefully this video tutorial will help you along your way. For the video or for the pattern today we're going to be using a worsted weight yarn i'll be working with the color theory yarn by two of wands and lion brand yarn it is a worsted weight yarn it is a little bit on the lighter side if you're looking to substitute something for it i will be pairing it with a g7 crochet hook or a 4.5 millimeter crochet hook and direct links to these items can be found in the description of this video so thank you so much for joining me. While you're here, I invite you to subscribe, take a look around. There's lots of other crochet beanie patterns and uh, other patterns here as well for yourself and for your home. This channel is updated every week with new patterns and crochet stitch tutorials. Now our beanie pattern today is worked from the brim up. We're going to be working the adult size to fit a 20 to 23 inch circumference of a head today in the video and I'll give you instructions later on uh, how to adjust the size. So we're going to start by working the brim of our hat by making a slip knot and then you're going to chain 26 chains. Now this is to make a brim that can be folded over and doubled up. If you'd rather have a brim that's a little bit shorter uh, that you're not going to be folding up, I recommend that you chain about 13 chains. Uh, for now we're going to chain 26. Once you have your foundation chain the length you would like, you're going to begin row one by working a slip stitch into the second chain from your hook and then into each chain all the way across. Now if you are not a fan of a slip stitch brim, I love the slip stitch brim, but if you are not you're welcome to substitute these slip stitches for either single crochet or half double crochet, it's up to you. I'm going to slip stitch in that second chain and then each chain all the way across. At the end of row one, chain one and turn your work. For row two, we're going to be working in the back loops only. So when you're looking at the top of your stitch, you have this loop that is closest to you and you have a loop that's furthest away. The one that's furthest away is your back loop only. So for row two, we've chained one, it does not count as a stitch, and you're going to slip stitch, working in the back loop only of the first stitch, and then each stitch all the way across. So always working in the back loop only, slip stitch in each stitch across. For the rest of the brim, you're going to continue by repeating this row two, chain one, slip stitch in the back loop only of each stitch all the way across, chain one and turn, slip stitch across in the back loop only. You're going to repeat this row two until your work from the beginning measures approximately 16 to 17 inches when the fabric is relaxed. So you don't want to stretch it. Should fit comfortably around uh, your head. You can also uh, simply work to the desired length if you're going to be changing the size of your beanie. So go ahead, work row two until your work from the beginning measures the 16 to 17 inches and then meet me back here. For 
Once you've worked your 16 to 17 inches for your brim, you're going to join our two short sides together. So you're going to fold them over. At the end of your last row, you'll have cha chained one. You're then going to work a slip stitch seam all the way across your short edge. What we're going to do is under that first stitch, working in the back loop only of both thicknesses, we're going to slip stitch all the way across. So pick up the front side and the back side, working in the back loop only, and slip stitch. You're going to continue to work your slip stitches through both thicknesses all the way across to the uh, other side of your short edges. Once you come all the way across your brim, if you're working the long brim as I have, we're going to leave our brim as is. We're simply going to turn so we're working along this rough edge. If you've worked a shorter brim, uh, so one that you're not going to fold over as I am, you're going to turn your brim so that the right side is facing out. For round one now of our hat body, we're going to work around this rough edge and we're going to start round one by working 84 half double crochet stitches all the way around. We're just simply inserting our hooks where it feels comfortable around this rough edge of our brim. We do want our stitches to be spaced fairly evenly, so if it helps, you can place a stitch marker about halfway around, work half on one side, half on the other. So work 84 half double crochet stitches. If you need to change the size of your beanie, you're going to need a multiple of six stitches for this half double crochet round. At the end of round one, you'll have 84 half double crochet stitches. You're going to join with a slip stitch into that first stitch. For round two, we're going to chain one, single crochet into the first stitch. Skip the next two stitches and into your next stitch, work five double crochet stitches. This is going to be your shell stitch. Skip the next two stitches and single crochet into the next stitch. We're now going to repeat that all the way around. Skip the next two stitches into your next stitch, work five double crochets. Skip the next two stitches and single crochet into the next stitch. Repeat this all the way around until you have two stitches remaining and then you'll join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch. At the end of round two, join with a slip stitch into your first stitch. For round three, we're going to begin by chaining two. You're then going to double crochet two stitches together. To double crochet two stitches together, you're going to yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over and drop a loop, yarn over and pull through two, and yarn, uh, yarn over and pull through two. You're then going to yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over and draw up a loop, yarn over and pull through two. You'll have three loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all three loops. When combined with our chain two, it's going to equal a double crochet three together. You're then going to chain two and single crochet into the next stitch. The next stitch should be that third double crochet in your set of five. Chain two and we're now going to work a double crochet five together over the next five stitches. So yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over and draw up a loop, 
yarn over and pull through two loops. You're going to do that four more times in each of the next four stitches. You will have six loops on your hook, yarn over it and draw through all six loops. Chain two. We're now going to repeat that all the way across. Single crochet into your next stitch, chain two, and double crochet five stitches together over the next five stitches. chain two and single crochet. Repeat that all the way around until you come back to your starting double crochet three together. When you come around and you have two stitches remaining you're going to chain two, double crochet two together over those two stitches and then join with a slip stitch into the top of that first double crochet three together. We're then going to chain one and for round four single crochet into the top or into that same stitches joining so into that double crochet five together. You're then going to skip the next chain two space and work five double crochet into the next single crochet stitch. Skip the next chain two, single crochet into the top of the next five, double crochet five together, so into the next stitch. Skip the next chain two, work five double crochets into the next single crochet. You're going to repeat that all the way around. Once you come all the way around at the end of round four you're going to join with a slip stitch into that first stitch and then chain two. We're now going to repeat rounds three and four four more times. So this is rounds five, uh, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. So repeat rounds three and four four more times and then you're going to repeat round three once more. Once you have done that, worked all the way through to the end of round 13, you're going to meet me back here uh, to work the decrease in our hat. Once you come all the way uh, around at the end of your repeats at the end of round 13 this is your work from the beginning you'll have ended on round 13 which is a repeat of your round 3 we're now going to start the last few decrease rounds to form the top of our beanie for round 14 we chained one you're going to single crochet into the first stitch skip the next chain two space and into the next single crochet you're going to work a double crochet, a cluster stitch, and one more double crochet. To work your cluster stitch we're going to yarn over, insert our hook into the same stitch, yarn over and draw up a loop, yarn over and pull through two loops. You're going to do that two more times into the same stitch. Once you have four loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all four loops. Then complete this uh, in the single, single crochet by working one more double crochet. So double crochet, cluster, double crochet. Skip the next chain two and into the next stitch. Work a single crochet, 
We're now going to repeat. Skip the next chain two, double crochet, cluster, stitch, and double crochet all into the same stitch. You're going to repeat this all the way around. At the end of your round 14, you've finished with the double crochet. We're going to join with a slip stitch into our first stitch. For round 15, chain one, we're going to work a double crochet two together over the first two stitches. Chain one and single crochet into the next stitch chain one and work a double crochet three together over the next three stitches. Chain one. We're going to repeat this all the way across. Single crochet into the next stitch, chain one, double crochet, three together. and chain one. Repeat all the way around and then you'll join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch. At the end of round 15, you'll have one stitch remaining. You've single crocheted, chained one. You're going to double crochet into that final stitch and then join with a slip stitch into the top of your double crochet two together. Chain one. For round 16, we're going to single crochet into the first stitch and then into our next single crochet, so skip that chain one, into the next single crochet stitch, work a cluster stitch. Skip the next chain one stitch and single crochet into the next. Skip the next chain stitch and cluster into the next single crochet. We're going to repeat this all the way around, ending with one final cluster stitch and then joining with a slip stitch into the first stitch. At the end of round 16, we're joining with a slip stitch into our first single crochet and chain one. For round 17, we're going to work one cluster stitch in each single crochet all the way around. So beginning with our first stitch, work one cluster stitch into this single crochet. You're going to skip the next cluster stitch and into your next single crochet, work a cluster. Repeat that, skip the next cluster into your next single crochet, work a cluster stitch. Uh, do that all the way around and join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch. At the end of round 17, join with a slip stitch into the top of your first cluster and chain one. We have one final round to close off the top of our hat and we're simply going to work a half double crochet, two stitches together over each stitch all the way around and then join with a slip stitch in your first stitch. At that time, you can then fasten off uh, leaving a long tail and we're going to use that tail to sew the top of our hat closed. So 
half double crochet in each stitch all the way around. All, once you come all the way around at the end of round 18, you're going to join with a slip stitch into that first stitch and then fasten off. Once again, leaving a little bit of a long tail. You're then going to use that tail to sew the top of your hat closed. So thread it through a yarn needle and then what I like to do is just turn my hat briefly inside out. Take that long tail and weave it in and out through that top or that final round of stitches all the way around the top of your hat. Once you come all the way around, you're simply going to pull it closed and then secure. After that, simply weave in your ends a little bit. Trim them off, trim off any other ends that you might have and weave them in. If you would like, you can add a pom-pom. However, the top of the hat also looks quite nice, so you may find that you don't need one. Turn up your brim and your Brighton beanie is complete. So thank you so much for joining me once again. Don't forget to subscribe. Uh, be sure to check out the matching scarf pattern, which will be long shortly. And uh, until I see you again, happy crocheting. Bye.